Hi and welcome, I'm going to paint a really quick, small um, watercolour, well it's not watercolour, I mixed in a bit of um, matte acrylic paint as well with this one, this really, that really cheap craft paint, this is what I'm just putting in the sky, is the white, a white craft paint, and then I'm adding a bit of Luna Black from Daniel Smith for this one. Um, I'm painting on a £140 cold press watercolour paper that's in a block and I'm using a really old, <laughs> a very old um, watercolour round brush which is, a, I think it's like a number 10 or something. Here I'm just adding in a bit of sort of brown, I think that's burnt umber and here I'm adding some uh, indethrine blue watercolour to where it's wet. I was trying to sort of create a land, a abstracty landscape but then it turns as always it turns into something a little bit different as I'm going along here I'm just adding a bit of bleach because I just love the way it does that did you see that it's really nice and just to add to the fun a bit I came in with some watercolor liquid watercolor I, I'll put the make the um, I'll link the make of it in the description below and I just let all it all flow in, flow in for you. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here we go. Look, and it's just really pretty. There's a brown one. I've forgotten what colour it is. I need to go and look that up. That you are so hard to find. Then with a little bit of Luna Black on my brush I sort of smooshed in a distant hills in the background and it's all wet and flowy and I'm just letting it do its thing and then I'm coming in with some white ink and this is just normal acrylic ink and um, add a bit more bleach and just let it all flow in and I'm just having fun with this and seeing where it goes I've got no idea what it's going to look like in the end but I'm just carrying on. Here's here's that liquid watercolour again. I'm just dropping it in to create create a bit of distance. I then I did a bit of ultramarine blue, which I didn't really like, I don't know, I was trying to make a sky, you know how it goes, you know, you just smoosh it in, that might make it better, I'm not sure, but yeah, that, that would do, that looks like a sky, you know, you just have to experiment sometimes, and always, I thought, oh that looks a bit like water, so in the water you have to reflect the sky, so I put a bit of blue there, so I was trying to make a, a bit of a snowy landscape, but um, it gets there in the end. She stands on the sideline, dance slow and looks at me. She must be the sunlight, shines a little more tonight. It's all about experimentation, and here I'm just sprinkling on a bit of salt and see what that does. Not 100% what's going to happen, but you know. Not sure if the salt's going to work and I thought oh maybe I should sort of add some trees and some grass or something just to make it look a bit more atmospheric and I don't know you know you, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you just have to go with what you see Well, 
well that's not the best tree in the world but you know it would do it looks like a tree that's out of fence that always adds a bit of perspective to the painting doesn't it and then you can add shadows and things like that and look all arty farty i don't know I'm just using a watercolour pencil for this. But it's a, the, the fence is going into the water, you know, it's like a big puddle probably. And I added some scribbles. Scribbles are good. Scribbles are distant trees, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Because it's so wet, and I sort of added loads of water, and it's really damp. I sort of dry, dried it with the, a dryer. It's all nice and dry now. My trees faded off into the background, so I added a bit more of the. Oh, I was trying to make a bit of shadow here and there, a bit more intensity of it. So I came in with my black watercolour pencil and fiddled around a bit just to see if I could make it look any better. Here is my white Derwent sketching pencil. I decided it need a, like a misty sun in a cold winter's day. So of course if you have a sun, maybe it's a moon, I'm not quite sure. It could be a moon, couldn't it? You need a bit of reflection here and there. So I added that with my pencil. I then added some scribbly grasses just to make it look like I knew what I was doing. I know I tried lots and lots of times, but maybe it's fine that you are so hard to find. I then decided it looked a bit snowy so I decided to add some snow on the branches and a bit of snow here and there and I think it sort of gives quite a really nice atmospheric look to the little whimsical watercolour I've just done. Could I call it a watercolour? Yeah it is a watercolour isn't it? Yes. Even though I used acrylic paint in it it's fine. And there's me sort of deciding it doesn't need something extra. I used a grey pencil just to add a bit of shadow to the scribbly grasses that I put in and just fiddling about really you know you know when you have to stop it's like stop move away from the pencil but no it needs some shadow Finally, I think I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, please think about joining my Patreon channel where you can have more fun doing things like this with me. Oh, and I will, on Patreon, I put these up with no ads. And I also give you a lovely sketch so you, if you like the painting, you can go and copy it if you can, if you want to, that is. Anyway, thank you. Bye. <laughs>